welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is turkey pie. I'm sure everybody's got lots of turkey left over from their Thanksgiving feast. So what we're going to do, we're going to change your turkey dinner up into a turkey pie. Also, if you want to make more delicious meals with it, I got uh, a turkey casserole posted on Bonita's Kitchen and it should be a recipe there for a turkey soup. So now let's get started on our vegetables. So what I'm going to do is put our vegetables into a half baller of water. So I'm going to reach for my baller and it's just a small baller. Um, and what I'm going to be putting in there, you could use your leftover uh, vegetables for your turkey uh, pie. But I got some fresh vegetables cut up. So I got a half a cup of carrot half a cup of turnip, and turnip is optional if you don't uh, like turnip, a half a cup of potato, and all of this goes in together. So we're only going to be cooking this for about five minutes. And we got a half a cup of frozen green peas, and you can add beans with it as well. And we got a half a cup of celery. So I'm going to cover this again with a uh, about a pinch of salt, just to salt the water, and put it on my uh, stove on a medium heat and get that going. Okay, so I'm just going to move my dishes to the side. Out of our way. That anymore. We got a cup of turkey, but we're not going to go on with the turkey now. We're going to add that in after, and I'll show you that in a little bit. What we're going to do next is make our pastry or for our pies. Okay, so what we're going to do now, like I was saying, I'm, we're going to start um, our pastry. So it's two cups of flour, and this is white flour. I'm not going to sift it, it's not necessary. We got a half a cup of cold butter cutting cubes. So what I'm going to do now is uh, start working that together, and a half a teaspoonful of salt. If you got salt butter, you don't need to use the salt. Again, that would be optional depending on if you got unsalted butter or salted. So you're going to work this flour together like this with the butter and continue doing this. You can also do this in a food processor, you guys, if you don't, if you don't want to do it by hand. Um, but uh, I'm going to do it like this and I'll show you the old fashioned way. Okay, so you're going to continue working your flour and butter and we're going to start adding our water. So this is a half a cup of cold water and you're going to work this in through your flour, butter and salt until it turns into a ball. Okay, so now that we got this formed into a ball, you don't want to over overwork it because we don't want for our dough to get too hot um, and that was a half a cup of cold water added to our flour butter and salt. I'm going to take my pastry now over into the fridge I'm going to put it in there until I'm ready to roll it and I'll show you that part um, and then we're going to go now to my stove top and we're going to start making our sauce for the, the pie. Okay, so that's two tablespoonfuls of butter, and we're going to let that melt down there nice. We're going to be half a cup of chopped onions, and it could be a small onion, uh, it doesn't matter, whatever, you can even use more, so whatever you would like. I like lots of onions. We're going to let this fry down now until it starts to all incorporate together, and then I'll let you know what we'll do next. Okay, so we're going to add to this now a pinch of pepper and a pinch of uh, salt and seasoning onion powder. I'm also going to have about a quarter of a teaspoonful of uh, savory. You could also use sage um, and let that all mix together. And this is all going to build up our flavors there and it's going to be absolutely delicious. It smells wonderful in there. I'm so excited that we're actually turning our turkey, leftover turkey, into more than just one dish. Okay, so our onions is coming along nice. I'm going to strain these vegetables. They're cooked. Uh, it was about five minutes. Um, like you said, you could go a little bit longer if, if you want to, but five minutes is more than enough. So we got this here now in the strainer. We're going to continue on making our sauce 
for our turkey pie. Okay, we're going to put in a quarter of cup of flour. And I'm going to mix this together until it all incorporates. It's going to, it looks like it's a little clumpy, but you'll see what we're going to do after that. We're going to put in a half a cup of milk and we're going to mix this down a little until it starts to incorporate. And we're going to put a cup of vegetable broth. It could be from your leftover jigs dinner or it could be turkey broth. From your, uh, you can buy it in the store to, uh, or chicken broth. And I'm going to go like this and stir this around until this starts to get a little thick. Okay, so you probably use your whisk at this point just to whisk it all around till it starts to get a little thick. And because we got on it, it'll probably get stuck in your whisk. You could change it up to your wooden spoon or whatever spoon you would like to use. A cup of chopped turkey. We're going to put it right into our mixture. So we're going to fold this at this point. I'm going to turn off the heat. And now I'm going to dump all of my vegetables. We're going to toss all of our vegetables into our sauce. Now remember when you're making um, this sauce and you, you put as much spices you want in there if you want garlic add it in there if you want you know anything at all just put it in because you're making it for yourself definitely make it your own but this is just the way that um, most Newfoundlanders would do it at this time just like this okay so this is all done so what we're going to do now we're going to get over and start rolling our pastry so we can incorporate all of this into that pie and you'll see what it looked like Now we got our filling done, we need to get working on our pastry. So that amount of uh, pastry that we made, I want to make it into two pieces because we need for the bottom and the top. So just put this one aside. I had this put in the fridge while we were doing our uh, filling because there was no need of it out on the counter. Your pastry is so much better when it's cold because the butter stays nice. Okay, so let's get rolling here. So you only want it the same thickness as what you would if you were making any sort of pie. Okay, so we're gonna go continue rolling. And I'm gonna continue rolling it. So we got it separated into two pieces. So one will be for the bottom, the other one will be for the top. And this is what it's going to look like. It looks good. It smells delicious in here too with all of that nice fragrance from our savory and, and onions, turkey. It's really good. And just in case you don't want to do all this work, which is not a lot of work, as you can see, it didn't take me that long to do all of this. You can always buy pie crust that's already done at your uh, grocery store. Um, Pre-grease your pan and then take your pie crust pastry and put into the pan as such. Now we're going to do our second one because we need it for the top. So we just put some flour there and start rolling. So I'm going to continue rolling this. Meet me back here and we'll get our filling so that we can put into our pie pan. I'm just going to move these things off to the side because now we're going to get our filling and we're going to put it into our pie. Okay, so you're just going to spread this out around the pie just equally so it looks like this. It's coming along nice, it smells delicious. It actually smells like turkey and stuffing because we had the, the savory. So we're going to take our top layer, we don't need to do anything else with this unless you want to add more spices but I don't need it because it tastes as good. Taste it in between because it's all cooked. You don't really need to add anything if you put enough in at the beginning. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to seal the outer sides of your pie pan to keep everything in there. Okay, so you're going to be pinching the sides and you keep going around the pie. Don't worry about what's hanging off the side because we're going to cut that off after. So you continue doing this until all of your pie 
is done. Okay, so now that we got all of that sealed, I'm going to take a sharp knife and you're just going to go around and you're going to cut any extra off that's there. If it's no extra, well, you're in good shape. That means you add just enough pie crust to go for your pie. So you just continue cutting all the extra off and just putting it to the side. So now we're going to cut little holes in the top of pie, just like you would if you were making a apple pie or a pumpkin pie. You just want it to have so that uh, the steam could release from that. And now we're going to take one egg and we're just going to use the white part of the egg, the yolk. The yolk we're going to toss to the side. I'll use that for something else later. I'm going to mix this a little. And what I'm going to do is just glaze the top of the pie and this will help brown it off nice as well. So you do this all the way around, off to the sides and over the top. So while we're doing this, I'm going to get my oven preheated at 350 degrees and I'm going to set my timer for about 45 to 50 minutes and at that point you want to check it in between maybe once just turn the light on on your stove to check it and um, if it looks like it's golden brown or almost golden brown your pie is ready because remember the inside is already cooked so meet me back here when our pie is ready to take out of the oven welcome back to Valida's kitchen our uh, turkey pie is now baked. It was baked at 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. It could be longer if it, uh, depending on your oven. So what I'm going to do now, um, I had taken it out of the oven and let it rest for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to cut into it because I want to show you what it looks like in between. Um, if you don't want to make one pie, you can make little ones if you want to, like little pot pies. I, I like it this way, but like you said, uh, Making it the other way is also nice. It smells absolutely amazing in here. I'm gonna take out a slice and put there. Now it's gonna fall apart a little tiny bit because this is still warm. If you let it rest for just a little bit longer, it, uh, it'll also be nice. I'm gonna turn it towards you and let you see. And this is what it looks like, absolutely delicious. Of course, what goes good with uh, turkey pie is cranberry sauce, and of course, you probably get some cranberry sauce left over from your Thanksgiving uh, feast. Um, so, this ends our episode for turkey pies. I hope you found this episode of, of Turkey Pies helpful for you at Bonita's Kitchen. Uh, please check out the other videos on bonitaskitchen.com, my Facebook page, and also YouTube. We've got another one there for turkey casserole if you want to use up the rest of your turkey from your Thanksgiving feast. So thank you for joining us once again for Bonita's Kitchen, and you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.